majestic, and magnificent. Rockets are defined as a vehicle propelled by thrust Mach one. from burning onboard fuel, one, two, three, four, and five, jets. any fuel, and the most unlikely of all, the mythical gummy bear. So we've got three different versions of our gummy bear rockets. Those are gonna go into these four inch rocket casings. Inside this is a tank of liquid oxygen, a valve, and the rocket engine with the gummy bears, and then the rocket nozzle. Those are all the major components that go into a hybrid rocket. Now, if you remember, it's a hybrid rocket because we're feeding liquid oxygen through our fuel grain, and that's what this giant tank is full of, liquid oxygen, literally some of the scariest stuff on Earth. To say this is flammable is really it's not accurate, because this is what makes things flammable. It is the enabler for burning, which is exactly what it's doing in our rockets. With the locks and rocket casing ready to roll, cue the first fuel, hand-packed gummies. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. So the gummy bear fuel grain is going into its housing. There are a uh, lot of fiddly bits that all have to work perfectly in concert. Snap rings, O-rings, rocket grains, housing, and everything, and it all has to be properly assembled. With the engine loaded and locked, it's go time for launch. This is the pre-launch setup. We mount the rocket, insert the altimeter and the descent parachute into the nose cone, and then erect the guide rail. Reminds me of something. After that, we de-ass the area. Here we go. Because just as our bomb squads are the only ones qualified to do the final capping in of explosives, our rocket techs here are the only ones qualified to work with the super unstable liquid oxygen. Once they have the locks in place, they put in the ignition system, and the countdown sequence begins. It ends, of course, with me counting from five to zero, and I hit the launch button. The moment I do, an igniter starts a little fire in the base of the rocket. At the same time, a valve opens up, and liquid oxygen begins to spray down the middle of the core of our fuel grain. It is ignited by that flame, and hopefully also in turn, ignites the fuel grain, causing a chain reaction of explosive force that sends the rocket skyward. System is armed, theoretically. This is it. We'll hand-pack gummy bears. Three! be a viable rocket fuel. Two! One! There we go. Some little smoke. Hey! Come on, baby! That's the right sound! That's the sound of the <laughs> engine not working. <laughs> That's the sound of failure. Well, we just fired our first gummy bear rocket. And remember, these were the gummy bears that were just jammed into a rocket grain shape with no other modification. And we got a successful firing, which is we heard it burn and shoot out some fire. And then we started to hear the telltale sound of gummy bears individually peeling off from the rocket grain and getting pooped out of the bottom of our rocket, but not with enough force to actually lift this rocket. We didn't get any else. We didn't get one inch. Yeah. The ignition flame appeared to light the locks. Oh, nice. You're eating it? Oh, yeah, it's still sweet. Wow. But the loose-packed, flavorsome fuel simply fell apart. 